Now let's bring the conversation home where former President Olusegun Obasanjo has advocated a system of government he called Afro-democracy for African countries and that insists that Western liberal democracy has never worked as a system of government in Africa. According to the former president, the Western liberal democracy has not worked because it was forced on the continent and does not take into account the view of the majority of the people. Obasanjo described Western liberal democracy as a government of a few people over all the people or population and these few people are representatives of only some of the people and not full representatives of all the people. He has therefore recommended a replacement of what he termed Afro-democracy in place of Western liberal democracy. We have a system of government in which we have no hands to define and design, and we continue with it, even when we know that it is not working for us. Those who brought it to us are now questioning the rightness of their invention, its deliverability, and its relevance today without war. The essence of any system of government is the welfare and the well-being of the people, all the people. Here we must interrogate performance of democracy in the West when where it originated from, and with all the inhibition of what we are left with over colonial, by the colonial power. Einstein, Einstein said that it will amount to height of fully to continue to do the same thing that had not worked and expect different results. And that is the situation we find ourselves. We are here to stop being foolish and stupid. Can we look inward and outward? To see what in our history, our culture, our tradition, our practice, our living experience over the years that we can learn from, adapt and adopt with practical uh, with practices everywhere for a change system of government that will serve our purpose better and deliver. Can we? I believe we can, and that is why we are here. I believe in dialogue. Two heads are better than one, they say. Two good heads are better than one. But here, we have many, many heads. Former well, President uh, Obasanjo there on what he termed Afro-democracy. Joining us to discuss this and more is uh, Arise Analyst mm -hmm. Dayo Shabuali. Uh, good to have you with us. Uh, you've heard uh, what uh, former President Obasanjo said. Um, uh, it's been, a liberal democracy has been unsuitable for Africa. Can you interpret the uh, significance of uh, his comments so far? Well, he's the best judge of that. Because he has been in and out of it. He has been what I would call a participant of Saba in the subjugation of African economy by Western democracy. So he knows what he's talking about. I agree with him uh, for different reasons, which I will elaborate on now. Um, Western democracy is not just float into the air into Nigeria, it came through colonialism. And colonialism was a product of uh, trade and commerce. The colonies were meant to be uh, uh, areas where 
the the master uh, the colonizer mm. will get raw materials take to Europe use technology to convert them and sell them back to the colonies the pattern is still on as we talk today under different pedigrees and then Obasanjo is not a stranger to all of them if I the status of Obasanjo as a Nigerian leader on the international scene is based on the fact that he's an out and out Democrat. He can claim, and this is that to buttress his point, that he was a leader, a military ruler who handed over to a civilian government. But then he later came on to contest and win the election. So his pedigree is solid. So if he says now, democracy is not good for us, it's like getting wise after the event. He knows what he's saying. We all know. But you see, in the political structure we have nowadays, if you are among politicians and you question democracy, it's as if you are questioning their very existence. Mm. Because, you see, the, uh, the way we have practiced our democracy as partition society into them-us situation. We have, we have a political class which is like the colonial system lording it over the rest of us. That is the brutal frank, I mean, the frank assessment of what I see on the ground. But this has always been there. This has also always been there. On occasions, I've had occasions to talk on this, and I will go after our passenger. I will not go after our passenger this time around. Let us look at the problem. Let us look at where we are now. Global economy. You get me? You have values. What dominates Western? What well, dominates social systems or political systems nowadays are values. Even in the political, when you vote, you vote for a candidate who you think can redeem you from your plight, mm. and with whom you share, we share some values. Look at Western democracy. Look at Chinese uh, uh, democracy mm. and the Russian time. Those are the three on the ground. The ones you are familiar with are uh, constitutional monarchy through colonialism, republicanism, getting our independence, mm -hmm. and then uh, presidential system, separation of powers, rule of law, and all that. But they have not all served us well. Because the essence of democracy, like Obasan Joe rightly said, is to make life better for the people practicing the ideology, make life better through representative uh, democracy. We have elected you, make life better for us. But what we see on the ground, all over the world, is that the political class, you get me, create an encirclement around themselves, and they make access to leadership difficult. Mm. The good example of that in Nigeria is that to get a form, to be president, to have 100 million. You know, I mean, that has eliminated almost 99% of the electorate. Mr. Shabuala, if yes. you'll allow me to interject. First of all, when yeah. I saw this uh, topic, I got very excited because yeah. you were kindred spirits as graduates of politics, philosophy, and economics. And this yeah. is really the stuff that we, you know, that gets us excited. Right. Uh, when we think about colonialism and how we left colonialism, a lot of the liberation movements were based off of foundations of socialism, Marxism, Leninism, um, even those who followed the ideals of Mao Zedong, for example, which is a far cry from where we are now. Do you think there's merit in us revisiting the ideals of the people who, who moved us out of col colonialism, those types of ideals? Uh, because mm -hmm. we had those, th those philosophies, we became independent, right. then we plunged ourselves into democracy. W what do you think? Well, you are going back to the Cold War. See, you can't, it's part of our history. But because you don't have much time here. You see, the Cold War, the Cold War produced the, 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 the class between the East and West, Western democracy versus socialism. But you see, uh, Soviet Union was, leaving, was leading the fight for equality. Socialism is about equality, narrowing the gap between the rich and the poor. Whereas capitalism was 
Uh, everybody for himself, the, the devil, the yes. Let's say fair capitalism. Mm. See, the hope was that if one man made it successfully, he will be able mm. to gather people around and all that. But that has not worked out. You see, the, the, the extreme end of it now, in real life, is the Communist Party of, the, so, uh, of uh, China. Uh, the, part, the party is communi uh, uh, communism. You see, members of the party in China are not up to a billion. They have got to rule over a country and uh, not up to 100 million. They have a country of 1.5 million. And the Chinese are saying that their own system is better because it's like a person just uh, delivers food on the table mm -hmm. for the people. Uh, but the rest will talk, the West will talk of human rights, which they have sold to us here now. And you see, when they came with democracy, they did not come with an empty hand. They, are, they, they put it across with uh, capitalism. Tell me that if you want money from the World Bank, you must practice democracy. Mm. But like I uh, rightly observed, it has not paid us. And if you have been the participant of Saba in what has not paid us, you get me? I can only wish him well, but then it is apparent you need to think again outside and move the, in the right direction. Outside the box. All right, right. Uh, Mr. Tayo uh, Shibuya, I'd like to thank right. you very much uh, for your thoughts on those issues. Uh, the former president talking about the need for Afro democracy, a homegrown concept. Mm -hmm.